Hello St. Mark's. Well, it's officially summer, and I hope that you're finding ways of escaping even if maybe we can't travel right now due to the pandemic. Um, one of the ways that I'm finding to escape a little bit is to do a bit of reading and watching movies, and um, this sort of generated an idea for me to play a piece based on movie themes. This is called The Harry Potter Fugue by Alexander Volheim. It was written uh, actually as he was taking a flight. This is what he did in his spare time as he was sitting on the plane. Uh, I guess he had his laptop out and decided to compose. But it's all based on themes. A few weeks ago, I talked about a fugue and how it has a subject. Let me play the subjects here. This one is called uh, Hedwig's theme, which you'll know is sort of the main theme of Harry Potter. So the first part of the piece is based on that subject. And then you have um, another theme here. This is called Harry's Wonderful World. Which is sort of a variation on the first theme. And then we have Fox the Phoenix, when Fox comes and saves the day. And you also notice there's another little thing that comes in in the first fugue. It's not really a subject, but it's a theme from the movie. And that is called Mischief Managed. So anytime they're up to a little bit of trouble, you might hear that in the movie. Um, and the composers for all of the Harry Potter movies used a technique developed by Richard Wagner in the 19th century for opera. And that's called a leitmotif. So a leitmotif could be a simple melody that represents a character or a mood or a place or a significant object in the movie. So um, film composers today use this idea that Wagner started with his operas uh, in their film scores. So uh, these, these little examples that I've played are used as leitmotifs throughout the whole of the, um, what, eight movies? Um, so I hope you enjoy this Harry Potter fugue. It's a fun summertime getaway for a few minutes. I hope you're all well, and we'll see you soon.
Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.